Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about add attribute option on edit product page. You can see here, this is the all products page and if I click on this link, edit link, here is the product edit page, okay. Now inside this page, uh, let's add here attribute option, okay, for editing the attribute. So let's see how can we add attribute option on edit product page. So switch to the project. And first of all, let's open the product model. So just go inside the app directory, then models. And from here, let's open the product.php, okay, product model, this one. And inside this model, let's create here a function. So right here, public function and function name, attribute, uh, attribute values okay and uh, inside this just return here return dollar this arrow uh, has many then just write here the model name attribute value this one colon colon class and uh, add here the column name product underscore id okay now save this file now just close this uh, product model and uh, now go to the admin edit product component class file so just go inside the http directory and uh, then liveware admin and from here let's open uh, admin edit product this one okay this class file and inside this uh, class file First of all, let's create some properties. So after this, just write here public and property name, this one, a double gr and uh, another property, dollar inputs with array. Uh, this is the array property, okay. Now create another dollar attribute array. and one more property which is dollar attribute attribute values okay now inside the mount method uh, after this just write here dollar this arrow inputs is equal to dollar product arrow attribute value uh, let's open the model mm. models and product model okay just copy this function name and write here then add here the where condition where product underscore id is equal to dollar product arrow id okay and also add here the unique uh, unique and now you inside the unique just pass here the column name which is product underscore attribute underscore id and from here just uh, plug the attribute product attribute id so right here plug and add here the column name this one product attribute id all right now just write here dollar this arrow attribute array this one is equal to uh, same thing so just copy and paste here and after this just add here the for each dollar this arrow attribute array add dollar attribute array 
and uh, inside this just write here all attribute value is equal to attribute value where product id product underscore id is equal to dollar product arrow id okay then add here the condition where where product underscore attribute this one is equal to dollar a underscore this one then call here the get method and from here just plug uh, plug the value okay now after this just add here one more for each for each and here just write dollar all attribute value as dollar value okay and then create a, a string variable so before this for each just write here dollar value string default set here the blank value black and string okay and now here dollar value a string value spelling mistake a string this one is equal to dollar value a string concatenate uh, with comma okay and also add here dollar value this one all right and after this for each uh, also add here the semicolon and after for each just write here dollar this arrow attribute to values and pass here the key dollar a underscore this one is equal to and use here the r trim function r trim for removing the extra uh, comma from the right side okay from the string so just pass here this string value string dollar this one and pass here comma like this okay now uh, go inside the render method and uh, after this just fetch here the all attributes product attributes so write here p attributes attributes is equal to product attribute this model name colon colon all and now just return this p attributes to the view file so inside this array just add here the comma then p attributes arrow dollar p attributes okay and uh, now save this file now let's open the admin uh, add product component view file okay so just go inside the resources directory and uh, from here just go inside the views liveware admin and from here let's open this one admin add product component dot blade dot php file and uh, inside this file let's copy this product attribute code so just select from here uh, to here okay now just copy and uh, let's open the admin edit product component view file so let's open this one edit product component or blade of php file and inside this file after this sub category and before this submit button just paste here okay now save this view file now go to the class file and uh, here inside the 
update update product product method just right here after this uh, after this you just add here attribute value colon colon where and first check here the product product underscore id is equal to dollar product arrow id okay and then simply delete the uh, old record okay so just call here the delete method and now add here the for each for each and inside this is right here dollar this arrow attribute values edge dollar key arrow dollar attribute underscore value okay and inside the for each just create a variable here of values is equal to explore and add here the separator comma dollar attribute value this one and after this just add one more for each for each dollar a values edge dollar a value okay and uh, inside this just write here dollar attribute underscore value is equal to new attribute value this model name all right now dollar attribute value this one arrow product underscore attribute underscore id is equal to dollar key dollar attribute value arrow value is equal to dollar a value this one and now just set here the product id so right here this one arrow product underscore id is equal to dollar product arrow id now just call here the save method so right here attribute value arrow save all right now everything is done one more thing uh, let's create a function for add attribute and one more function for remove attribute okay this remove and this add function so inside the edit class file uh, after this mount method let's create a function here public function and function name add add okay and uh, inside this function first of all check here if dollar uh, if not dollar this arrow attribute array arrow contain contains dollar this arrow this one okay then just push here so write a dollar this arrow inputs arrow push this attribute value okay so write a double tr 
dollar this okay now just copy this and paste here and just change the other property name attribute attribute array okay now let's create a function for remove the attribute so write here public function and function name remove and just call here the unset method unset dollar this arrow inputs inputs and pass here the dollar this one and also here just pass the argument dollar attribute okay now everything is done so save this file and let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and you can see here the product attributes option on edit product page okay uh, if i go to the all product page and uh, let's edit this one last product so click on edit and here is the product attributes and uh, their values okay now uh, let's edit this attribute so just add here one more color pink and uh, remove this size okay this three size and this five colors okay now click on update And you can see here product has been updated successfully okay if i refresh the page you can see here the attribute options with updated value okay now let's uh, edit another product this time uh, let's edit this one and here there is no product attributes so just add here the product attributes color add okay and just add here the color uh, let's say blue and black also set the size add here size 21 24 and 43 okay now click on update product updated and you can see here the attributes values okay if i refresh the page you can see here the value if i check the database so just uh, go to the php my admin so just write here localhost php my admin and just open the database laravel 8 e-commerce tv this one and now browse the attributes values and you can see here this value all right so in this way you can add attribute option on edit product page so that's all about add attribute option on edit product page so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.